Hello, welcome to Theosophy in Wales, I'm Dave Marsland. Sankara, as you think, so you become. Well, Sankara is a Pali word and it literally means formations or that which has been put together. Now, um, in Theosophy, it usually refers to mental outlook in terms of thinking, perceiving, and feeling. Um, it's one of the 12 Nidanas, and these are the underlying phenomena of human experience. Now, Sankara, um, the aim really is intended personal conditioning, or being master in your own house when it comes to who you are. Now, the French sociologist um, Emile Durkheim, uh, 1858 to 1917, said that as a result of um, the coercive power of society, you grow up as a product of your own society and there's not much you can do about it. Um, however, from the theosophical point of view, you can at some stage become objectively self-aware and take steps to avoid morphing into a typical member of your society. So sort of probably would require quite a, quite a bit of inner work. Now, um, Sankara is a dynamic process. So when you've made something of yourself, it, it can be changed. Um, you can completely reinvent yourself. Certainly if you're not happy with who you are, you, you can do a lot of inner work, you can take steps, you can, you can change yourself. Um, everybody has the free will and really has the ability to do that. Um, the important thing is that you, you take executive decisions about what you think, or how you think, and you control and focus on this. Um, and this is why many meditation systems um, put a lot of emphasis on repetition. Um, and finally, um, what you make of yourself and the effort made to do this uh, will bring benefits in future lives.